Well, it took me a while to find them, but here they are. Sports coach. I know some of you uh, requested that I check out some of these sports coach, so let's do it. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. This is a uh, sports coach, show price 199 regularly, 300 grand, and this is the 402 TS. Let me show it to you real quick. This is the diesel pusher, of course, on a freight liner chassis. This is the, this is the older freight liner, not the one with the, with the screen, the, the digital screen, but other than that, this is very nice. Very nice TV at the perfect location in front of where you're gonna sit down for the evening. Which you, you know, that's very important. We have two slides here, two slide outs, but it feels like the, the coach would be usable with the slides in, by the way. Very nice dinette. It is a pretty nice material. It's not um, ceramic or anything like, thing like that, or marble, but it's. Uh, it's, it, it feels solid to the touch. This is a very nice residential fridge by Frigidaire. Two-door refrigerator. And on this side, we have a, an induction cooktop, which leads me to believe that, believe that this rig might be electric only. Maybe I should ask. Very nice. In general, let's see the pantry space here. And it feels, well, this little part in the middle, not really, but for the most part, it feels solid when you open and close the doors. You know, they don't, they don't feel flimsy, which is a good thing. Here's where you would put your, your DVD player or something like that, because I see some HDMI's coming out and you have some power. And here, that's, that's what I would use for a pantry, actually. That's very, feels very solid. Very nice drawers. Are these like soft closing? Yes, they are. And what do we have here? Bunk beds. So this would be a perfect uh, family coach. And those doors can, can, kind of feel like you're almost going to break them when you open them. But very nice. Each, each of them has an emergency exit, which is very important because if you're trapped in there, actually those are They're cut, cut up with magnet, magnets. Let's look at the bathroom. Yeah, porcelain toilet. And uh, this is not porcelain, but it's, it's the same material that we saw at the dinette, which has a seam down here. I don't, I don't know exactly how well it is going to fare in the wet conditions of a bathroom, but it, it feels better than the one that I have in my, in my mini teeny. That's, this is very tall. So if you're a tall person over six feet, I mean, I have at least a foot to spare here. This I would change and uh, I would put a fantastic vent there uh, yesterday. You know, uh, like this one, that's a fantastic vent. And one thing that I noticed for a, an air, uh, for a vented air conditioner, it's a bit loud to be a, a, a vented unit. I mean, vented, no, vented. Ducted. What's wrong with me today? <laughs> Ducted unit. Here's a king size bed, very nice on this slide out, which if you put the slide in, you can still kind of sneak around uh, this way. So you can come to the bathroom, to the other bathroom. There's one full bathroom. And there's another full bathroom back here. Of course, I see one, one for, for the children that are staying at the bunk beds, or children or your in-laws, whoever you, 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 uh, you wanna keep separated. And then one for, for the master bedroom. It's actually very nice. And back here, don't tell me, don't tell me. 
Yes, washer and dryer and something something dropped to the floor. I don't know. These things are very yeah, you see? It's like overall very nice. I like it. Look at this. That's a nice uh, detail there. And what I like about these big diesel pushers is this big picture window that you get in the front. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be a, a joy to drive. And to be honest, I like the, the mechanical uh, gauges better than all that new digital stuff that they're putting on the, on the new coaches. But that's old fashioned me. So this is the sports coach. 402 TS and um, it's a class A diesel and um, well you can pause and see all that okay let's look at another one of these of course here uh, the, the, you have your outdoor entertainment and all these diesel pushers generally speaking they have huge pass-through storage as you can see here I mean it's only interrupted that by that piece of chassis that is going from the front to the back but other than that you can store very large things in there hi how are you and this I watch your channel oh you do oh good. thank you good to meet you glad to see you down here i'm yeah. probably going to run in a lot of you <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right but they're always great uh, to to meet viewers on the road and uh, the Tampa show is one of those places where I'm going to uh, get to meet a lot of people because uh, I've seen uh, also other YouTubers, everybody, everybody seems to be here, which is really cool. By the way, this is the 366BH SR, another diesel pusher. And uh, I'm trying to, um, 40 foot, it's a 40 footer. And that's the sweet spot because if you are longer than 40 foot feet, I think you have to have the tag axle. So this is very, these are very, very nice. This one has the entrance here, mid-coach. And again, great layout. I'm so glad most of these uh, coaches have gotten rid of that front uh, TV there because, um, to be honest, it's, it's not in, the, in a great position when you are sitting here. So, as I said, these are built on the, on the older Freightliner chassis, none of that uh, digital uh, uh, cockpit. Huge, huge storage here in the front. Very nice dinette, same, same of that material that I, I don't know exactly what it is. It's kind of plasticky like Mike. I, and this, this is, this is, looks like a Korean countertop or something like that, you know, like travertine, fake marble, but it feels very nice, huge sink here. And um, this, um, this is a 340 horsepower, uh, a diesel pusher for those of you who care about those things and um, this is a three burner stove regular stuff actually this one is um, propane this is not not um, an induction cooktop again the same uh, fridge there domestic uh, dom um, I forget the word <laughs> you know residential style refrigerator here we have, we have a, a bathroom mid coach very nice of course, none of that plastic toilet. This is the real thing. And here, what do we have? Do we have bunks too? Yep, bunks, but this time they are on the driver's side. Same deal, very similar. It, it's almost like a, like a mirror image of the coach we were just looking at. The only thing with this one, we don't get. We don't get a bathroom, a second bathroom in the back. We only have one bathroom. Here you have a pocket door for privacy. A second AC unit back here. I, for, I forgot to check if the other one had a second AC unit. This is a huge wardrobe closet here. That's for, for those of you who like to travel with your entire wardrobe or, or full-timer, of course. This is a full-timer, Greg. And back here, more. Uh, that's huge. This is, this is, let me, let me show you how deep this is. That I cannot reach all the way to the back. That's how deep this um, storage. Oh, there's uh, there's more storage down here. I have no idea what this is for, but there's. Uh, I doubt the camera will be able to see it, but and it's uh, it's rugged, so um, 
nice TV and of course behind the TV why not we've got more storage and we have some power outlets maybe back here you could put like a small DVD player or your Roku box or, or your Apple TV or your Amazon uh, stick so yeah very cool I like this uh, retractable power outlets with USB of course we all need USB these days and uh, more power here let me see if you have USB in the bedroom it would be nice yeah right here four USB ports on the on the right hand side and the, and the Bluetooth radio and I also like the fact is it this this is kind of a, an old-fashioned RV in the sense that you have real light switches you have that that older style freight liner freight liner chassis it's not a it doesn't have none of those little screens that are very cute and, and convenient in a sense but uh, they can fail yeah this is this is kind of old school and uh, which is in a sense refreshingly cool you do have a, a Santrex uh, inverter here and uh, I didn't check that on the on the previous one that we saw but um, but I'm, I'm sure Let's check out another one of these sport coach coaches. This is a 403 QS. This is a 50-inch living room TV. It's they, they should have a. This is a 360 diesel diesel pusher, and uh, I bet you it is also 40. Wheelbase. By the way, all of these uh, pretty pretty large uh, tanks, 89 uh, gallon uh, fresh water, and 52 and 52 black and gray. And I can't find uh, the length, total length, but we'll go with 40 since it is a 403. Let's check it out. Is this a? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a single real rear axle. So okay, this one is on the new Freightliner uh, chassis. As you can see, it has that digital screen that i showed you guys at the tampa at the, at the hershey rv show last year last september lots of sitting area here we have a, a recliner and i guess this is this will keep your beverage cool or hot i don't know you know i don't know how that works dinette same materials we've seen before very nice uh, television set there in front of your couch in front of your recliners and well, these guys will have to crane their neck a little bit, but it's totally fine. Look at the amount of counter space we have here. I would love to have this much counter space because, as you know, I like to cook. Here, up and down, we've got this retractable. You, you have USB and power. It's the same very nice uh, deep sink we've seen in the other, in the other models. In this one, we have an induction cooktop and a Frigidaire convection microwave. Very nice. Those are the nicer ones. And, you know, they, they all have a slightly different layout, of course. Let me see the bathroom here. Ooh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, please do not use the toilet. I bet you someone has done that and, and these units are not really prepared to you know this is like a demo unit i'm sure they don't have the, the right chemicals in there that's a very tall shower it's just for reference as i usually do i'm 510 and i mean you could almost fit two roberts in here not really but you know i mean we have the you know i wish this was a model or for like a ceramic material because you know what happens to this material Look at that. And this is a brand new coach. And it's already, someone dinged it there. And uh, now you can see, can you see? And um, yeah, I will, uh, but, but probably be because they want to save on weight. And check it out, look at the fit, fit and finish. And these are things that, that's not quite the fit and finish I would expect from something like this. It's the little things, folks. But for the most part, if you can get over those little, um, let's call it sloppy craftsmanship, um, a little bit, you know, 
for the most part, this is very nice. We have fine and light. And this is a, an electric toilet, which yeah, you cannot open it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, to me, it's, it's very easy just to go like this. I mean, if, you, if your battery dies, you, are, you cannot. Anyways, I like the fact that it's a pass-through bathroom here into your bedroom with a king-size bed, USBs on both sides. It's very nice. We've got a second AC unit back here if, you, if, if it's one of those uh, hot summer Florida days. And back here, yeah, the same deal with the TV we get. We get storage behind the TV. And this, of course, MCD shades for blackout purposes, but we've got a nice window here with an ex emergency exit. All right, maybe we can do one more of these sports coaches here before we move on to other rigs. But as you can see, well, that's the last of the sports coaches because this is a Coachman Mirada, which we might see later, but not right now. As always, thank you so much for watching and uh, coming to you from the Florida RV Super Show 2020, 35th anniversary. Um, let's continue looking at RVs. Riding in